Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Well, hi kids! And thanks for stopping by for today's book! Today's book is Ichiban Goes Hiking! And it's written by Julie Maurer! Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with today's book! Hi! My name is Ichiban! I know it's a funny name! My human mommy gave it to me! It rhymes with Peachy Don! And it's Japanese for Number one best! Because I'm the number one best dog! At least my mommy thinks so! My very favorite thing in the whole world is to go hiking in the mountains with my mommy! I don't have to wear a leash, and I can run around wherever I want. Best of all, there are so many great things to smell. I'll tell you more about that later. My first hike was so much fun. Everything was new and exciting. It was hard, too. Because I was only a puppy. The trail seemed so long, and I got so tired. I just wanted to lie in the sun and smell the warm air. My mommy had to carry me until I felt ready to run some more. Because everything was new to me, I had to learn what was safe to sniff and what wasn't. My mommy couldn't teach me this. I had to figure it out for myself. Once, I sniffed a cactus and I got a needle stuck in my nose. That hurt. But my mommy pulled it out and I never got that close to a cactus again. Another time, I jumped off a big rock without looking to see how far down the ground was. I was so excited to be outside and running that I didn't pay any attention to where I was going. It was a long way down, and I fell on my head. That hurt a lot. Once, I even fell into a stream because I wanted to smell the water. It was really cold and so deep my feet couldn't touch the bottom. I wasn't too scared though. My mommy walked along the shore beside me until I floated to a shallow spot where I could get myself out. I'm a big dog now, and I've learned my lessons, so most of the time I just have tons of fun. The world is full of so many wonderful things! And even though I can run around wherever I want, I never get lost. Even if my mommy can't see me, I can always see her! Sometimes there are other dogs to play with. We bark and chase each other and my mommy doesn't tell me to be quiet, like when we are at home. There are children too, hiking with their mommies and daddies. I love kids and I don't bark or chase them like I do with other dogs. I don't want to scare them. Instead, I let them pet my fluffy fur and I give them kisses. By the way, 
I have a daddy too, but he doesn't like to go hiking. I do other fun things with him. Sometimes, we even see people riding horses. I want to bark and chase them too, but my mommy makes me come and sit with her by the side of the trail until they go past. Once, we even saw a great big bear. My mommy put my leash on me right away. We stopped and looked at the bear, and the bear looked at us. Then, me being me, I started barking, and we had to leave. My mommy kept my leash on me until we were far away up the trail, and we couldn't see the bear anymore. I can't forget to tell you about my Uncle Bill. After my mommy and daddy, he is my most favorite human. He comes hiking with us sometimes, too. He gives me great big hugs, and he will throw a stick for me forever. And I have to tell you all about the lovely smells. Everything smells so good to me. The trees, the grass, the air, the rocks. Even stuff my mommy thinks is gross. The very best smells are in the earth. Those smells I want to take home with me. When I sniff out a really good spot, I roll in the dirt and get as much on me as possible. When we stop to rest, my mommy pulls out lots of tasty treats out of her backpack for us. I'm starved and ready to eat tons. There's yummy stuff along the way, too, like these red berries. I can pick them myself with my mouth. Sometimes it rains. I don't mind getting wet. The rain smells so good and makes everything else smell even better. We go out in the winter time too. That's harder sometimes because the snow can be really deep. But I'm strong now and I can keep up. The snow smells so good and my mommy throws snowballs for me to chase. a whole day of running free in the mountains. By the end, though, I'm pretty tired. I sleep in the car all the way home. When we get home, my mommy gives me a bath. I don't mind the water, but all the lovely smells from the stuff I rolled in get washed away. After my bath, my mommy dries me off with a towel and brushes me so my fur doesn't get tangled. I'm pretty hungry when dinner is finally ready. Of course, I'm a dog, so I'm always hungry. My bowl is never big enough. After dinner, I'm ready to fall asleep for the night and dream of more exciting adventures.
the end. So what did you think of this wonderful book about Ichiban? I thought it was a great book. Such a beautiful dog and I loved hearing about Ichiban's wonderful adventures out hiking on those trails. I bet you it's a lot of fun hiking with Ichiban. I want to say a great big thank you to Julie Maurer for this wonderful book about Ichiban. 